Puerto Natales. So that means we've officially reached Antipode 1 on our trip around the world. Congratulations! Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Day 10 on the island. The ferry. Okay, Levy's uh, walking onto the ferry and I'm going to ride. Here we go, look at this. Whee! I'm like the only one. <laughs> onto the ferry! Okay, I, I'll go like this. I guess it's. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Good morning, world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 256 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We woke up early this morning to get on this ferry right here because after 10 days on the island of Tierra del Fuego, we are finally making our way back over to mainland Chile to the city of Punta Arenas. It's been a pretty cold time on the island. It's still pretty cold and pretty windy at the moment. Yes, we will miss the island, but man, we need sunshine. <laughs> yeah, so let me show you guys where we're headed today. Okay, so we are currently somewhere here in the Magellanic Strait in between the island and the mainland and today we are going to be making our way up on the nine through here 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 up to Puerto Natales and then continuing up there to Torres del Paine. Yes we are heading to the massive Andes mountains to the famous Torres del Paine National Park so we're just hoping to get kind of close to there today through the city of Puerto Natales see where we end up so that we can explore that national park tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Our main mission is it to go north, north, north and see all the beautiful national parks along the way. So we have the ferry right now and then we hit the road. It doesn't look very good weather today. It looks incredibly grey and windy and cold. I think we have to go back inside. <laughs> Thank you! Gracias! There we go. Whoa! Wow! We were just next to the ocean. 
the, oh wa God. the water's coming straight in. That's crazy. Okay, well, where do we go here? Uh, Hola. It's okay? Okay. Gracias. We just come straight out here and into the rain, man. Rain and traffic jam. Wow. You can't see anything. I couldn't even see the mainland. Where are my mountain views? We have to wait for the mountains, it seems. So we've got to fuel up, hey? Yeah, we find a petrol station, pump up the tires. Yep. And hit the road. Yeah, sounds good. So welcome to Punta Arenas. Back on the mainland, baby. Oh, not so nice weather to start. Let's see how the petrol, how much the petrol is in Chile. Yeah, I think it won't be as cheap as Argentina, but let's hope it's not as cheap, as expensive as Europe. <laughs> yeah. Wow, they've got Super 93 here. Wow. I would say we probably stick with the 95 though. Do you think so? Yeah. Perfecto, gracias. Uh, debito. 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 Muchas gracias. Okay, 13,000, about 13 pounds. Coming out of Punta Arenas. And look, the highway's on the ocean. This is awesome. What a nice ride. A little bit cloudy, but <laughs> yeah. right next to the ocean. That's amazing. At Maybe. least it stopped raining, though. Yes. Maybe we can spot some whales. Yeah, unfortunately on our ferry ride, two hour ferry crossing, we didn't see any sort of sea life, but it was a pretty rough day. So they probably took a day off. Yeah. They probably <laughs> swam over to the Bahamas or something. <laughs> Soon we'll be leaving the coast behind and making our way towards the mountain area, which I'm pretty excited about. sure what these like giant geodesic domes are but maybe something to do with like radio telescopes maybe a new Airbnb inventions <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cool actually yeah it's super cool Once I like they it. decommission them I would buy one of those <laughs> as an Airbnb <laughs> we just stop here on the side of the road because we got really hungry and now we're having some nuts and some cookies. <laughs> yeah. I was just looking at the ingredients of these cookies and they actually contain beef fat. So we're not actually vegetarian. Then we won't buy any more of these. Why would you put beef fat in there? I mean, I have no idea. It's really strange, no? Do you bake cookies with beef fat? <laughs> no, my cookie recipe. A bit of flour, some sugar, and I've got a pound of beef. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of flamingos in this lake over there. Our first Chilean flamingos. <laughs> but it has been raining quite a lot. So, so far, Chile, I'm not impressed. <laughs> but the forecast looks a little bit better later. So, fingers, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. You can't see my fingers because I've got my rain gloves on, but fingers <laughs> crossed. The sun is back to warm us up a little bit. <laughs> it's an epic ride here. Yeah, we have a beautiful, beautiful long straight road ahead of us. <laughs> I like that. And then we'll be heading across the mountain line and over to some more mountains so this up ahead on the right here is actually a Chilean bus stop but you can see that it's a pretty cute little building look at this very cute <laughs> and they have these bus stops like all along this highway all along this remote stretch and pretty much they're for those guys as well because cyclists use them as shelters when they're uh, cycling through Patagonia when they've got nowhere else to stay and maybe we'll end up sleeping in one of those on our way through Chile 
I think we have to sleep at least one night in one of those <laughs> in our time here. <laughs> it's really nice that they build those little shelters. That's really cool. We have snowy mountains! Whee! Look up ahead! A beautiful vista with snowy peaks all across the horizon. What an awesome view! Yeah, an absolutely stunning view. We're about 30 miles out from our destination for today, Puerto Natales. Uh, I guess Puerto Natales must be like just at the edge of the mountains here. Amazing. So for you guys that have seen the last couple of episodes, you'll know that Agnes and Glenn, who we met up with in Morocco, our friends for many years, they are traveling in this region as well. <laughs> who is these bloody hitchhikers here? <laughs> eh? Yes. Yesterday was a bit of a failure. We were supposed to go to the penguin park together, but they're hitchhiking. We're on a motorcycle, and sometimes it just doesn't work out that we can get to the same place at the same time. But for tonight, we have managed it. They have already hitchhiked their way from Tierra del Fuego up to Puerto Natales and so we've actually booked an Airbnb for all four of us together for tonight. Yes! yes. <laughs> so our schedules are finally matching up which is awesome. Plus those guys are actually going to hire a car in Puerto Natales. So it means that we can ride up, they can drive up to the Torres del Paine National Park uh, in the coming days. Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome to have some traveling friends. And actually we knew them from Australia originally and then we saw them in New Zealand. So we literally met up with these guys like all over the world. Yeah. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> Just coming down now into the town Puerto Natales. It's an amazing location for a town. You've got a lake over at the back, you've got snowy peaks all around. Beautiful place. And actually, Puerto Natales has been on our minds since day one of the trip because this is actually one of our antipodes. So, for our Guinness World Record, uh, to be the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. We have to reach two points of the globe which are on opposite sides. Uh, that's called an antipode. Number four. The participants must pass through two approximate antipodal points during the attempt. One antipode is Ulan Ude in Siberia and the other one is right here, Puerto Natales in Chile. So that means we've officially reached antipode one on our trip around the world. Congratulations! <laughs> now we're not 100% sure if we're actually going to be able to do the other one in Siberia, but uh, there's plenty of antipodal points in northern China and some other areas like Mongolia. So we have another couple of options, but this was our original plan. We'll then ship the bike to Rio de Janeiro and follow the east coast of Brazil down into Argentina to tick off our first antipodal point in Puerto Natales, Chile, at the very southern tip of Patagonia. Amazing. Yeah, it feels really good to achieve some things. There you go, Puerto Natales. Awesome. What is that? Oh, that's a giant sloth, I think. Look at that. Yeah, that represents one of the megafauna that used to live in the area. Oh, look, another hand. Another hand, just like the one in uh, Uruguay, hey? Yeah. It's a giant hand sculpture. 
Awesome. There you go. And I think there's another one in the desert in maybe in Chile or maybe in Bolivia. Sort of looks like a lighthouse. And look, there's a cruise ship, a little cruise ship. somewhere here oh okay yeah, somewhere I'll here I'll just pull off the side for a minute okay and then we'll see yeah. where oh <laughs> there he is Mr. Glenn <laughs> oh, and he's over there oh nice we have done it we have finally met up with him again yes how's it going no, no. all right yeah good good hey traveler and you guys going we made it! Happy to live! Whee! Yeah, we're here at the Airbnb that we've got for tonight, which is awesome. We've got views of the lake just over here. And it's really cute. Pretty awesome location. To show you guys around the Airbnb. Bumblebee's Park up here. The bedroom. <laughs> it's quite funny that you get into the room and it's like immediately the bedroom. <laughs> Kitchen and guys! There we go! <laughs> so, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six beds here. Six beds, it's like one and a half beds each. It's awesome! So, now we're here in Puerto Natales. We're ready to explore the mountain areas from tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. And that's it from us today. We did at the end 180 miles. And we hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.